Welcome to the Listening Time Podcast. Hey everybody, this is Connor and you're listening to episode 120 of the Listening Time Podcast. This is going to be a very special episode because I have a really exciting announcement to make. And that is that I've started a new podcast and I'm sure a lot of you will be interested in this new project of mine. So I'm going to talk about it today. I'm going to talk about the details regarding this new podcast. And I'm going to talk about my experience uh, making this new podcast. I'll talk a little bit about the things that I've learned, things I've experienced, uh, I'll talk about some different things, um, and this will give me a chance to uh, share my uh, excitement, uh, my feelings, my experience, and I'm happy to do that today because I've spent many hours so far working on this new project, and it's good to finally talk about it and share it with people. So I'm excited for that today. Let me tell you a little bit about this new podcast. First of all, what is it called? Well, it's called U.S. Conversations. And specifically, I made this podcast in response to uh, what many of you have asked me for. Many people have asked me for some type of content where I speak to other people, where I talk to other native speakers, and we have normal, natural conversations because many people want to practice uh, with this type of content where there are multiple speakers, people talking to each other, interrupting each other, um, using words and phrases in a way that's natural, um, talking to another person in a normal way. Many people have asked me for this, and I didn't have any content like this in the past, um, and I decided to uh, embark on this new adventure and create a new podcast. By the way, the word embark or the phrase embark on something refers to starting some journey. So I decided to embark on this new journey and it was hard for me to commit to this because it's a very big uh, addition to my overall workload uh, right now. And so I've made this an exclusive podcast. So this will be a paid podcast because I know that not everyone will uh, want to listen to such an advanced level podcast. Uh, some of you might not be ready for this, uh, and some of you are ready and you really want this and it will be worth it for you to sign up for this. I'm going to use the Patreon platform for this exclusive podcast. Uh, this is the same platform that I use for my normal membership, but this will be a completely different Patreon page. This new U.S. Conversations podcast is completely unrelated to the Listening Time podcast and the Listening Time membership. This is completely separate. This is a different project. Uh, I know that some of you will want to take advantage of this and sign up for that. And so if it's worth it for you, this will be a $5 a month exclusive podcast. So in order to receive access to this podcast, 
uh, you'll uh, pay five dollars per month and then you will have one new long conversation each month on the first day of each month and so in each of these conversations i talk to somebody from a different part of the country uh, from a different part of the united states so uh, up to this point i've recorded 10 different conversations with 10 different people from 10 different states so from all over the country it's been really interesting i'm sure that you guys will really like this because you get to learn a lot about the united states and the different parts of the country and all that kind of stuff so uh, like i said in each of these conversations i talk to someone from a different part of the u.s and the conversation will usually last between 40 and 45 minutes so it's much longer than my normal podcast episodes and so there is a lot more content a lot more material in each episode um, that's why it's only one episode per month um, because it's a lot for you and it's a lot for me to be honest uh, to uh, go through this process and finish a whole episode takes many hours of work because i'm not only recording the episode recording the conversation and releasing it i'm also including the transcript just like with the listening time podcast so this transcript will contain everything that we're saying and it's gonna include something in addition to just what we're saying it's also going to include the definitions of key words and phrases that we use in the conversation so uh, for uh, each of these key words that i highlight in the text i put a definition down below uh, at the bottom of that page so you'll be able to learn a lot of new words a lot of new phrases in each of these conversations and these are authentic conversations they're 100 percent authentic and natural meaning that we're speaking at normal speed we're not slowing down at all we're just talking as if we were having a normal conversation so this is exactly what many people have asked me for uh, like i said it's been a lot of work and it will continue to be a lot of work in the future specifically because of the transcripts it takes a really long time to uh, transcribe what is said um, so this is uh, one of the reasons why i've made this an exclusive podcast because that will allow me to actually dedicate time to doing this i can stop working as much on other things and i can dedicate more time to this um, if it's a paid podcast so that's my idea it will be five dollars a month and you'll receive one new conversation with a new person from somewhere in the u.s um, and you'll have the transcript and you'll have uh, the definition of key words and phrases one thing i want to note is that i'm recording all of these conversations via skype so the quality is not great it's okay and um, it's good enough to listen to but the sound is not as good as the normal listening time podcast that i record so i want to warn you about that because i don't want you to expect 
really clear sound. Um, and there's actually something good about that is that this will help to simulate video calls uh, or phone calls because many of you work in professions where you might have to have video calls and conferences or conversations online with English speakers. And we don't all have uh, professional microphones that we're speaking into when we have conversations like this. So normally you have to just deal with a normal Zoom or Skype or Google Meets and you just have to deal with the sound quality, the audio quality uh, of the person who you're talking to. And it's what many of us have to deal with working from home, working remotely. So these conversations will help to simulate that same environment. It's not crystal clear audio. Um, it's just normal sound like what you would hear over Skype or Zoom or Google Meets, etc. By the way, the phrase crystal clear just means that something is very clear, okay? So it's not crystal clear, uh, it's just normal audio, but this is actually a good thing because it simulates normal video calls that you might have with English speakers. So that's great practice. So I think that's most of the details uh, that I wanted to give. Like I mentioned, it will be through Patreon, and a lot of you already know how that works. Uh, it's a monthly payment system. So when you sign up, you will pay $5, and then you will be charged $5 on that same day the next month, okay? And of course, you can cancel at any time. So the link to sign up will be in the episode description below this episode. It's patreon.com slash US conversations. So now let me just talk a little bit about my experience making this podcast so far. So first I wanna mention that I've learned a lot about the different parts of my own country just from having these different conversations. So as I already mentioned, I've recorded 10 of these conversations already, and each of these people lives in a different state. Uh, it won't always be like this in the future. I'm sure I will uh, start to um, have conversations with people from uh, the same state at some point because there are only 50 states in the US. But so far, uh, each person has been from a different state and I've learned a lot about these different states. Uh, I'm from California. This is where I was born and raised and I know a lot about Southern California specifically, but I don't necessarily know a lot about the other states in my country. And so I've been able to ask people questions um, during the recordings of these podcast episodes and ask them about their state. And we've been able to compare the different places uh, that they've been to, uh, that I've been to, and it's been really educational for me to learn about different places. Just to give you some examples, uh, I've recorded episodes with people from California. There's one person so far from California. Also, Washington State, uh, Montana, uh, Texas, uh, New Jersey, um, I'm already forgetting a lot more, uh, Maryland, 
um, I can't even remember the other states, uh, all over the country. So it's been really fun to do this and you're going to love this because you're going to learn a lot about this country. You're going to learn a lot about the culture, the geography, the weather, uh, the different, uh, maybe stereotypes or, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, it's been really educational for me and it will be for you too. Uh, it's also been cool to talk to people from small towns. There have been some people from really small towns and there have been some people from big cities. And for me in particular, uh, it's been cool to talk to people from the East coast and the East side of the United States, because I know very little about that part of the country in particular. So no matter which part of the U.S. you're more interested in, or if you're interested in the countryside or the big cities, you're going to learn a lot. And another thing that I've learned a lot about from these conversations is just different fields of work, different types of hobbies, different activities, because um, in each of these conversations, I've had the chance to talk to people about different topics. Uh, for example, one person I talked to uh, is studying linguistics in university, and that was really interesting to learn uh, about some of the different uh, linguistic elements that he's studying in school, for example. And I talked to another person about music. And I talked to another person about medical school. And I talked to another person about jujitsu and about education. Uh, all these different interesting topics that I might not know anything about or I might know a little, but not too much. And that's been really fun as well to learn about some different fields, some different hobbies, things like that. And it's also been very interesting to talk to people with really different ideas, different perspectives, different opinions. Um, a lot of the people that I've talked to so far um, have really different preferences when it comes to cities um, or different areas of the U.S. that they really like and other areas that they don't like. Um, they have different opinions about different cultures and different languages because I didn't mention this, but a lot of these people live in countries outside of the U.S. currently. They are expats, as we would say. An expat is someone who no longer lives in their home country and they're living somewhere else now. So a lot of these people are expats. Um, they live in places like uh, Mexico or Poland or Thailand or different places like that. So that's also added another interesting element to uh, these conversations is that these people have a very broad perspective um, on life and culture because they've lived in different places. Uh, by the way, the word broad uh, just means wide. So they have a very broad or wide perspective and it allows them to compare different cultures, uh, different languages, and uh, learn a lot about themselves and their own culture. And uh, by the way, these are all Americans that I'm talking to. They're all native speakers, but some of them have chosen to move to other countries. So um, they're all native speakers though. They're all Americans. So that's added a very interesting element to our conversations. And I think it's great to be able to talk to people 
uh, that have different backgrounds and that have different um, situations now, um, that live in different uh, places now, uh, I think it really expands our perspective and it helps us to learn from each other. Um, so I really wanted to find different people with very different situations, uh, living in different places. And so far, that's what I've done with uh, the 10 conversations that I have recorded up until this point. Uh, everyone has had a very different situation. So that's really helped keep things interesting. And every episode has been educational for me. And another really interesting thing uh, that I've experienced uh, up until this point is that a lot of these people who are native speakers, they speak differently from me and they use different vocabulary. They use different local lingo from their cities. By the way, the word lingo just refers to um, words and phrases, vocabulary from a specific place or region. So they use some local lingo. They use some words that I'm not accustomed to using. And so you'll notice this uh, if you listen to my conversations with them. You'll notice that we talk differently. And sometimes these people will pronounce words differently uh, than I pronounce them. And they will even kind of contradict um, the pronunciation tips that I normally give they speak differently, they pronounce words differently from how I teach them. And that's cool. Um, I already knew this, of course, that people pronounce words differently in different parts of the country. Um, but it's been eye-opening for me to see uh, just how different uh, pronunciations of words can be in different parts of the country. Um, by the way, when we say that something is eye-opening, this means that something opens your eyes. It makes you see something new. It helps you realize something. So it's been eye-opening for me to uh, hear different pronunciations of words, and I think it will help me in the future um, as a pronunciation teacher uh, to be a little bit more aware of the fact that uh, words can have uh, pronunciations that are different from mine, even uh, just a couple states over in the U.S., uh, just in the same country but in another state. And like I said, I already knew this, but it's been cool to experience this uh, through these conversations and to notice this. And I'm sure some of you will notice this as well. So that's something that has been very interesting for me as well. Let me just finish by talking about how to use this podcast. So if you decide to sign up for this podcast, how should you use it? Well, uh, first of all, it's important to know that this is much harder than my normal listening time podcast, and it's actually much harder than my advanced podcast, too, because I'm talking with other people, and we are talking to each other. I'm not talking to you like I am in this podcast. And we are talking completely naturally and normally. We interrupt each other. It's like a normal conversation. And this is much harder than this Listening Time podcast. So this will not be for everyone. And that's also one of the reasons why it's exclusive. Um, you should sign up if you feel like you're ready for it. 
But even though it's not for everyone, I think that most people can benefit from it. Even if you don't feel like you have a very、uh, high level of listening yet. If you want to challenge yourself and start to get accustomed to what real conversations between native speakers sound like, then I still think you can benefit from this, even if you don't feel quite ready yet.、Uh, so I just wanted to mention that because you'll notice that the U.S. Conversations podcast is much harder. It's much more challenging, and so、uh, each conversation is about forty or forty-five minutes, or most of the conversations will be、uh, around that length. And so this type of conversation、uh, at this length will supply you with days of practice. Okay, you're gonna want to spend days and days. With each conversation, with each episode, okay, because there are going to be a lot of new words, a lot of new phrases. It's going to be hard to understand a lot of things that people say. I'll probably be easier to understand because you're accustomed to my way of speaking, but the people that I talk to, especially,、uh, will be. Harder to understand. You're gonna want to use a lot of repetition over many days. Okay, I recommend that you listen to each conversation multiple times. And when I say multiple, it could mean many. It could mean five times, six times. Who knows?、Um, it depends on how you're feeling. Uh, with the episode,、um, I think you should try to、uh, reach a point with each episode where you can understand everything or almost everything without using the transcript. That might be hard, and you might need to lower your standard a little bit. So you might not、uh, want to understand everything, but maybe almost everything. Um, without the transcript, which can take you many repetitions. Like I said, you might need to listen six, seven times with and without the transcript, alternating until you can reach that point. But that's okay. This is going to be very good practice for you. And if you repeat these episodes many times, you're going to learn. A lot of new words. The words are going to start to stick in your brain a little more, so that's going to be a really good benefit. You're going to be exposed to some very useful phrases that you might not be familiar with, and you'll hear them again and again if you use this repetition method, and you'll expand your vocabulary. You'll get more comfortable with many different phrases, different words. So、um, repetition is key. I think that you can spend many days with just one conversation. So that advice is pretty similar to the advice that I give、um, regarding this listening time podcast. But the difference is that the U.S. Conversations podcast is way harder. Okay, so it's gonna take a lot more time and repetition、uh, to understand everything. Okay, and one other piece of advice is to have fun. These conversations are interesting. You get to learn a lot about the U.S., a lot about different parts of the country, different fields of work, different cultures. Uh, have fun with this. Don't just use it for your English practice. Use it as entertainment, right?、Um, try to just have fun and learn a lot about this、uh, very interesting country <laughs> that I live in.、Um, use it for your English, but also just use it for your own entertainment, your own enjoyment. 
I know that I've really enjoyed um, talking to these people and even listening to my recorded conversation with them while I'm doing the transcript. It's been interesting to um, listen again. I think you're really going to have a lot of fun with this podcast. So have fun with it. It will make the English part easier for you. Okay. And I hope you enjoy it, uh, especially because I'm not lying. This has been a lot of hard work for me. Uh, I've had to uh, message these people, uh, pay and schedule classes with these people because, by the way, I didn't mention this, but these are all English teachers that I'm talking to. So that's one added um interesting element here is that if you want, you can also take classes with these English teachers. They're all English teachers who work online, and I'm going to include the link to their teaching profile at the bottom of each transcript page, so you can actually have conversations with these people as well. So I've had to uh, contact these people uh, pay and schedule classes with them, record these conversations. And the hardest part, doing the transcript, it takes me hours and hours and hours to finish just one transcript. So this has been a lot of work for me, much more work than the Listening Time podcast. So I really hope you enjoy it. I really hope you appreciate the transcripts with all of the definitions of words and phrases. Uh, I, I hope you enjoy it because I've worked really hard and I've really enjoyed this project so far. So I think that um, I think that you'll like it. Uh, I hope you do. So if you want to sign up, remember that it's five dollars a month, and you'll get one new conversation every month on the first day of the month. And the link is in the description below this episode. That's patreon.com slash US conversations. So I really hope you consider signing up. Um, I hope that all of you who have asked me for this type of content uh, can now uh, use this uh, and benefit from it. I think this will provide you with a great boost uh, for your English learning and specifically your ability to understand native speakers when they're speaking to each other. That's really hard, but hopefully this will guide you and help you reach that level where you can feel more comfortable understanding people. So make sure to go down and check that out. Click on the link and sign up if you're interested in that. And even if this new podcast is not right for you at this moment, if you're not ready yet, you can still join my Listening Time membership and become a Listening Time member or family member. Uh, if you become a family member, you'll get my advanced podcast episodes, and um, they'll help you maybe reach the level where you feel a little more comfortable to try out this new podcast that I'm making. So remember that you can still sign up uh, for my membership and get all kinds of helpful content and my advanced podcast episodes. All right. Well, thank you for listening, and I'll talk to you on the next episode of Listening Time. 